from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Hi, Weirdos! It's Darren, and uh, I'm asking you, my fellow Weirdos, this week to join me in raising money for food for the poor. You will be saving the lives of children and families in Haiti and Guatemala, and a single one-time gift of just $50 it will provide food for a year and clean water for life. Saving the life of a child and her family, I mean, are you going to do anything more important the rest of this year? So I give monthly because, well, I believe in this organization, but I'm asking you to only give once. That's it, just once. One gift of just $50. You can give right now at MarlarHouse.com slash food for the poor. That's MarlarHouse.com slash food for the poor, or click the food for the poor square in the right hand column at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. If you would rather, you can also use your mobile phone to give. You can call pound 250 and then say the word HOPE when you're prompted and you can speak to an operator. That's pound 250 on your mobile phone and then say the word HOPE. But please, give today. This is the only week that I'm going to be asking you to join me in this worthwhile project that I believe in so much. And I really do hope that you'll believe in it as well. MarlarHouse.com slash food for the poor or click the food for the poor square at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Thank you. As part of a new BBC documentary, Stephen Hawking Expedition New Earth, Hawking is going to test his theory that humankind must colonize another planet or perish in the next 100 years. Uh, all right, I'm sorry, but you know, while the air here might not be that great, it still beats Mars with its zero breathable air and completely unsurvivable environment. In England, a woman claims she cannot leave the house because she is allergic to Wi Fi signals and cell phones, which is strange because I don't think life would be possible without them. Miley Cyrus says she has stopped smoking pot for three whole weeks. Wow, yeah, we'll, we'll alert the people at Pulitzer. In the Ukraine, a man robbed a store making off with about $200. Two blocks away, he took off his pants and ran. When police caught up to the man, he told them that losing his pants was part of his disguise. I I I've got nothing to add to that. Well, here's one name that we can add to the early mix of potential 2020 candidates – Disney CEO Bob Iger. Back in March, The Hollywood Reporter noted that Iger was seriously considering supporters' requests that he run for the Democratic nomination. So if the Disney CEO is president, does America become the happiest place on Earth? Caitlyn Jenner's book, The Secrets of My Life, has stalled at number 296. The Kindle version is at 487. Keeping Up with the Kardashians was 17th of the top 25 cable shows. The long national nightmare could be winding down. Well, here is a wedding nobody will forget. A video is going viral showing a female minister throwing up in the middle of the ceremony just as the bride and groom say their vows. The video shows the female minister bending her head to the side to vomit and has been viewed over 400,000 times. The footage begins with touching scenes as the beautiful bride promises to be her husband's best friend and biggest advocate. But in the background, the minister's complexion begins to turn pale and sickly as she shuffles awkwardly from side to side. Next, her expression turns to one of panic and desperation before her cheeks begin to bulge and she turns her head and lets it all out. The visibly shaken bride continues her vows promising to love her husband as the minister lies on the floor. Through sickness and health, and horrifying wedding ceremonies till death do us part. Paris Hilton has just signed a seven-figure deal with Calvin Klein. And the only way this makes sense to me is if Calvin Klein is paying seven figures if Paris agrees not to wear their product. Two vandals in Norway overlooked a small but crucial detail when they started smashing up an elevator. They were inside the elevator. The elevator got its revenge on the vandals, sealing its doors and holding the two for the police. Officer Karma, always silently on the job. 
A Baylor University fraternity has been suspended after holding a Mexican-themed Cinco de Drinco party. Now, I'm just going to take a wild guess here and say this had less to do with the alcohol and more to do with somebody complaining that their heritage has been stolen. Because that is the ultimate of sins nowadays on liberal snowflake campuses. A Brooklyn coffee shop is suing Starbucks for $10 million, claiming that the chain stole its unicorn frappuccino. A judge is going to have to decide who came up with the drink first, and most importantly, why anybody would want to take public credit for it. Bombay Sapphire Gin is being recalled because of the alcohol content. It's supposed to be 40 percent. Some bottles, though, have been as high as 77 percent. And they're calling that defective? That's just over-delivering to your customer in my world. Right now, you can get a free copy of the book None Other by John MacArthur by visiting MarlarHouse.com slash free stuff. Grow deeper in your knowledge of the one true God. Get the book free right now at MarlarHouse.com slash free stuff or click the free stuff tab at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. A Kentucky woman claimed she was Hillary Clinton when she was pulled over by police for a DUI. Well, obviously she was lying about that, uh, but then she was lying, so the police immediately thought maybe she really was Hillary Clinton. Britain's Prince Philip says he is retiring and he is stepping down from his official royal duties. That means that he will no longer, um, uh, he'll, uh, he'll stop doing, um, you know, I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. Apple CEO Tim Cook says Apple is going to invest a billion dollars in a U.S. manufacturing fund to boost American jobs. But Ryan Seacrest will probably get those jobs, too. Well, if I had not uh, read this next one in the news, I probably would have thought this was a storyline from All My Children or The Young and the Restless. In Sudbury, Pennsylvania, bail bondsman Christopher Hauptman, he was already charged with bigamy. But he is now accused of lying when he applied for a license to marry the daughter of his current wife. Authorities say when Hauptman applied for a license to marry 18-year-old Kaylee Page Durovic on September 1st of 2016, he wrote that he had not been married previously. Well, in fact, he had been married to Shannon Dietrich, Kaylee's own mother. In fact, they were still married. Dietrich says she married Hopton in Florida in November of 2015. Now, Hopton says he divorced Shannon, but Shannon says she never received the notice of a divorce action and she considers herself still married to the guy, who married her daughter September 16th anyway. Now, here's for a little irony on this. Christopher Hauptman is the owner of Pennsylvania Bail and Recovery in Shanikin, and yet he still remains jailed in lieu of $300,000 bail. A business manager who stole more than $7 million from Alanis Morissette and others was sentenced last Wednesday to six years in federal prison and ordered to pay $8.6 million in restitution. Do, do you make enough money in prison to pay that kind of restitution? Because if so, I need to go to prison. A researcher has observed female dragonflies apparently faking death in order to avoid males pursuing them. The researcher saw a male dragonfly pursuing a female, at which point she dove to the ground and lay motionless on her back until the male left. So, in other words, it's the dragonfly version of, not tonight, I have a headache. A baseball fan was grazed by a bullet during a Cardinals game at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. Wow! You know, how you play baseball has changed since I was in Little League. More than 3,000 flight attendants and around 200 pilots have filed reports with American Airlines complaining that their uniforms are making them sick. They claim the uniforms have caused them to break out in rashes, hives, and to have breathing problems. So you folks at American want anti-rash uniforms? Gee! What, you are so spoiled and arrogant. It's no wonder we're all ticked off at the airline industry. A high school in Wisconsin forced its students to evacuate the building Thursday after a concerned parent called the police on somebody walking into the school wearing dark clothing and a mask. A student came to school wearing a Darth Vader mask. After all, it was Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. An Oregon man working for a tree service company tried to push his co-worker into the wood chipper. That is not going to look good on his quarterly review. 
Einstein Brothers Bagel Chain just launched the world's first caffeinated bagel called Espresso Buzz Bagel. The bagels each contain 32 milligrams of caffeine, which is about a third of the amount found in an 8-ounce cup of coffee. So here is yet one more place you'll be asking the person behind the counter if they have any fresh-made decaf. Bill Clinton will write a presidential thriller with best-selling crime writer James Patterson. The President is Missing will be published in June 2018 and is being billed as a unique amalgam of intrigue, suspense, and behind-the-scenes global drama from the highest corridors of power. The Missing President is apparently based on a true story, asking where the heck Obama was during Benghazi. Called the female Donald Trump by her detractors, Marine Le Pen lost the French election on Sunday, proving that Russia cannot rig an election after all. According to research, drunkorexia is a problem going around college campuses. Drunkorexia involves students cutting calories during the day so they can binge drink at night. That way they will be nice and skinny in rehab. A man in Italy reportedly killed a woman neighbor because she taught her parent to insult him. Sounds like maybe he deserved those insults. Steven Seagal has been banned from the Ukraine as a security threat. So he can't go to the Ukraine? Well, darn! It's not like he's been banned from some place you'd want to go, like Hawaii or Disneyland. Uh, no offense, Ukraine. Facebook is said to be looking at producing their own TV series. It'll be similar to the comedy TV show Friends, but none of the characters actually will know each other. President Trump will soon have his younger daughter Tiffany close by in Washington. She's been admitted to Georgetown Law, located just blocks from the White House. But if she wants to see Dad, she'll still have to sign up for the White House tour, just like the rest of us. And maybe he'll poke his head out to her tour group. Crayola is looking for suggestions for the name of its new blue crayon. You know, I hear the name Dandelion is now available. A Danish brewery is producing a Pilsner beer made with recycled urine. Yes, on purpose. California is working on a plan to tax space travel by the mile. Leave it to a bunch of space cases to try and tax something they don't own. How do you tax space? Something that's not only not in your state, it's not on your planet. A new study claims that tequila may actually be good for our bone health. Considering that it's responsible for the falls, it's amazing how life sometimes balances out, isn't it? Toyota has claimed the title of world's fastest SUV after a Toyota Land Cruiser hit 230 miles per hour on a long runway. Great news for families always running late to soccer practice. A dad in Texas warned his 17-year-old son, get in trouble in physics class one more time and I'll be coming to school to sit next to you. Brad Howard says his son, also named Brad, likes to be the life of the party, and Dad Brad has been getting emails from Teen Brad's teacher. So last week, when Teen Brad acted up in class again, Dad Brad went to school. Dad Brad said his son's friends seemed to enjoy it. I think they had a good time, especially knowing that Bradley was put in an uncomfortable situation, Dad says. See this, my fellow weirdos, this is called good parenting. A guy in Australia found a cockroach inside his M&M's chocolate bar, and he took four bites out of the candy before spotting it. He didn't notice at first until he realized that he didn't buy a chocolate bar with a creamy center. A New Jersey high school student who hopes to become a funeral director surprised her classmates by arriving at her prom in an open coffin. The boys at her school did say she was drop-dead gorgeous. Recent research reveals that British men would rather date someone with a fuller figure, such as Kate Winslet. One in seven women admit they take drastic measures, even winding masking tape around their thighs to hide cellulite. But one in three men didn't even know what cellulite was. And one in five thought it was a type of battery. American Idol is going to return next spring on ABC. Finally, we're bringing back a TV show that introduces us to more mediocre talent. Ohio 7th grader Zachary Bolin has been suspended from school for 10 days after liking a photo of an airsoft gun on Instagram. Great job there, Thought Police! Yeah! Oh yeah, also suspended 
a kid who made a gun gesture with his thumb and index finger, and another who had a joke gun that shoots a flag proclaiming BANG BANG! Antonio Sabato Jr. has been a model for Calvin Klein underwear. Now he's running for Congress in Southern California. <sighs> Who knew we would be longing for the days when only actors and reality TV stars would be running for political office? Some coffee shops are turning off their Wi-Fi so that customers are forced to talk to each other. And if that doesn't work, we're going to stop serving coffee! While Qantas CEO Alan Joyce was making a speech to 500 people at a business breakfast in Perth, a man calmly walked up on stage and threw a pie in his face and then walked off. Apparently Australians have some strong opinions about airlines, too. In Aberdeen, UK, student Tracy Emin left a pineapple at an art exhibit as a prank. The staff apparently thought it was a piece of art and put it on display in a glass case in the center of the exhibition at Robert Gordon University. The prank worked so flawlessly that the piece of fruit was apparently on display for six days before it was taken down with the rest of the expedition. Rowry Gray, 22, who actually bought the pineapple, said their goal was to see how long it would remain there before being removed. They placed the pineapple on the empty display stand and returned four days later to find it had been put in a glass display box. He said, quote, "...we were shocked and in disbelief we didn't stop laughing for about ten minutes." Unquote. Curators eventually realized their mistake. The art exhibition called Look Again challenged visitors to look at the places and spaces around us through fresh eyes. Sally Reaper, the Look Again Festival director, said it was very clear to us that it was a prank, but we've decided to leave it there because it's in keeping with the playful spirit of our festival. Right, sure, you meant to leave it there, uh-huh. Yeah, suck on that, snooty art lovers. A Michigan man says a spider is responsible for his rollover crash. The 26-year-old man told deputies he was distracted by a spider on the visor above his head and drove his 2005 GMC Envoy off the road. The vehicle crashed into a ditch before coming to rest against several trees. Not to worry, though, the spider came out of it without injury. Down in Brisbane, Australia, a pregnant mother got the shock of her life when she suddenly erupted in a painful rash all over her body. She was told by doctors she was allergic to the baby inside of her. Shocking pictures show the true extent of summer Bostock's allergy, which occurred virtually overnight, a month and a half before her first child, Isaiah, was born. Doctors say it was one of the most extreme cases of a rare prenatal condition known as polymorphic eruption of pregnancy, or PEP. It's basically harmless but does leave the mother in agonizing pain. After starting with painful red blotches on her stomach, it spread up to her back and down her legs, covering her entire body. The good news is it all vanished within hours of her son Isaiah's birth. Now, me at the Marlar House, uh, we don't have any kids. I I'm going to say it's because I'm allergic. Jennifer Aniston thinks that if Friends were being produced today, the show would consist of the cast sitting in silence on their phones at Central Park. Well, everybody would be on their phone except for Joey. He wouldn't be able to figure out the phone and probably wouldn't have money for a cell plan. So yeah, Donald Trump fired FBI Director James Comey. You know, I'm amazed that everyone is so shocked that a guy whose reality show catchphrase was, you're fired, actually fired someone. A thief in West Virginia covered his face with a pair of blue women's underwear and used a pistol-shaped cigarette lighter in a botched robbery of a convenience store. One of the responding officers said, I couldn't make this stuff up if I tried. Research shows that the lead dust from bullets poses a health risk to anyone in the room. Hey, hey if you're going to shoot me, uh, shoot me, but for heaven's sake, please open a window first! I can't. <laughs> I, can't, I cannot believe this is actually a, a true story. Some universities are offering students, I kid you not, chocolate, therapy dogs, and video games as a way to cope with their finals. <laughs> wow! Our country is in big trouble, people. A new broccoli pill is said to prevent deaths from strokes, which sounds great, except for that broccoli part. Why can't they make pills taste like chocolate, huh? 
Jody Sweeten's ex-fiance, Justin Hodak, was sentenced to more than six years in prison last week. The only Fuller house he'll be experiencing is the big house, one Fuller once he arrives. The airline nightmare stories continue. In New Orleans, a United passenger says that the airline canceled his ticket after a baggage dispute. Meanwhile, a nurse from Kansas City says she was forced to pee into a cup in her seat on a United flight because she was not allowed to use the plane's lavatory. Uh, yeah, dear Uber, we need you to switch to airplanes immediately. Former President Obama traveled to Italy this week to talk about climate change. In a private jet with a 14-car motorcade and a helicopter flying overhead. Yep, the guy talking about climate change is the one that caused climate change. This week, I'm asking you, my fellow weirdos, to join me in raising money for Food for the Poor. Once a year, I take this opportunity to ask you to join in something that I believe in greatly. It's Food for the Poor, and a single gift of just $50 will feed a child for an entire year in Haiti and Guatemala, and that same $50 also provides clean water for life. I've had a, I've had a few people uh, come to me and say, that's not possible, we think this is a scam. Well, do the research. Look up Food for the Poor online, find out more about them, and you'll see that this is legitimate. They have created a system to create clean water in these communities, and your single gift of just $50 can make that happen. Please call right now, 855-901-4673. That's 855- 901 Hope. If you have a mobile phone, you can dial pound 250 and then say the keyword Hope when prompted. It's pound 250 on your mobile phone and then say Hope, or you can give on my website. Go to marlerhouse.com slash food for the poor. That's marlerhouse.com slash food for the poor, or you can click the food for the poor tile at dailydoseofweirdnews.com. But please give now. We are less than halfway to our goal yet we're more than halfway through this campaign, so we really need someone to step up and save the lives of these children. 231 kids' lives are in the balance right now, and that requires a little over $11,500. And like I said, we're only about halfway there. So please, if you're feeling that nudge, if you're feeling that tug on your heart to give, please do so. Uh, $50 a month, if we had 13 people give $50 a month, that would take care of these 231 children, the rest, of, the rest of our list. But if you can't do that, if you could give just once, $50 just one time, again, that still saves the life of a child and provides that clean water for life. 855-901-4673 or marlerhouse.com slash food for the poor. Thank you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video with your friends. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you like what you just saw, click the subscribe button right here. And also be sure to click that notification bell when you do so you'll be notified when I post new videos. That's a video I chose just for you specifically. Over here, well, you can uh, check out my own website. Down there, well, that's a video that's kind of similar to what you just watched. I'm sure you're going to love it.